I'm drowning in it by this point. Hello everybody, my name is Robert and this is a review clue. And as you may have thought from that intro, no, I am not drowning in bitches. The trim is good, but it's not that good. What I am drowning in, however, is these. Flipping wireless headphones, truly wireless headphones. Today we've got these ones from GRDE and I'm gonna review them and tell you whether you should be picking these up. These are on the more expensive side. These are closer to 70 pounds on Amazon. But are they worth that £70? Or do you want to be spending a little bit more and going for something like the Amazon Buds? Let's find out, shall we? So this is the case. It's 1,000 milliamp hours, so it's a little bit bigger than some of the cases I've seen for wireless headphones. And I, though that is a good thing because you get more charges, it of course does mean it makes it much bulkier. Is that a wireless headphone case or are you just happy to see me? You decide. But inside of that, you do get the two earbuds. They sit in there rather oddly. You kind of have to pull them out at an angle in order to get them out. That's just because of the way that the earbud sits in your ear with those wingtips. Getting the case out of the way, let's have a look at the earbuds a little closer. There's one button on the side in this wing which can't be taken off. And that's pretty much it. You can see the little microphone there, so you can take calls on this if you did decide to. They are very, very low profile, so once put into my ear, you'll notice that they look fairly good. That wing sits quite nicely in the, on the ear and doesn't intrude too much on anything else that I do. And from a front profile, you're going to notice that actually they're very low profile. You don't notice that they're there. Some earbuds stick out quite heavily, and this one doesn't do that. And of course, these do have those wings, so no matter how hard you shake your head, you're not moving them anywhere. So there you go, guys. These things are a little bit smaller than some of the wireless headphones that I've used in the past. Uh, as you saw from the profile view, you don't really notice you've got them in. Um, and personally, I've never really been a fan of the winged design, and unfortunately the wings don't come off. But in this case, I wasn't that mad at them because they kind of sit well enough that I don't notice them after a while. And as you notice from the uh, vigorous head banging I did there, that um, these things are not going anywhere. They're IP68. Waterproof. So uh, I use these in the shower, I use these swimming, and I didn't have a problem at all actually. And um, that's quite impressive. As I say, the battery bank is a bit beefy. Um, I understand why they did it because they wanted to get as many charges as they could, but it's definitely not the most small form factor going. In terms of sound quality, these things sound pretty good. Again, there's always this problem that I find with these cheaper headphones, that they really push this fake bass and it's overpowering in many, many scenarios. This bass is just overpowering. It is too much. You, you kind of lose most of the clarity of the rest of the audio from this fake bass. Thankfully, with uh, Apple devices, you can tune that down a little bit. You can lower the bass level. And with the lowered bass, these sound a lot better than with its full bass in place. If you like the bass, keep it. If you don't, tune it down a little bit. Everything else will sound a lot clearer and nicer, especially your lows and mid ends. So anyway, these things are £70. Would I recommend them? It depends what you're looking for. If you're looking for a pair of headphones that's gonna, you can take to the gym and you can take swimming and sweat all over and you're not worried about them going anywhere, falling out of your ears, then these are a great choice. If you're a bit of an audiophile who wants crystal clear audio, these probably aren't the right devices for you, purely because of that fake bass and having to really tune it yourself. I prefer a much more um, sort of natural soundscape that these don't provide, unfortunately. I'll leave a, a link in the description down below if you do want to pick some of these up. But anyway, guys, my name is Ben Roberts, and this has been Review Clue, and I will catch you in the next one. But before I do that, don't forget to comment, like, rate, and subscribe, because I haven't asked you to do that this video. Anyway, guys, my name is Ben Roberts, and this has been Review Clue. Adios.